What's up you guys, Chase the Dark Sage here and today we are back with another manga haul. And honestly, I did not think that I would get such a huge manga haul so soon and especially so recently since the In Stock Trades manga haul. If you haven't checked that video out, link will be in the description down below. But I will say, me, Jerry, and David from the Uncensored Anime Podcast, we went to Kino Kinea and I thought I was gonna pick up like one or two volumes. But then I saw a lot of a series I'm already collecting. And I was like, yo, I gotta buy it since it's been severely out of stock for so long. I had to continue buying this one Nasty Man series that I've been reading lately. And I had to get the usual magazines that I always buy when I go there. And also I got a bonus magazine, which you probably saw within the thumbnail. So before we get into the video, before I show you all the things I got from Kino Kaniya and from Half Price Books, cause he did make a quick Half Price book stop. And um, I did get two volumes. I expected it to be a bus. But I actually got two volumes, which I'm really happy about. But like I said, before we actually get into the stuff that I'm about to show you in this video, I gotta say, if you are new to the channel, you have not already, go ahead, hit the subscribe button, post notification bell, like the video, and share the content that we can help me grow with the YouTube algorithm. And I gotta give a huge shout out to Broke Boy Game for getting me to 25K subscribers. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 25,000 subscribers. Not 2500, which I was really grateful for that number. But to see 25 before the comma, and then three zeros after the comma. Oh my God. I gotta say, I highly appreciate you guys. I really thank you for y'all. I never thought that I would amount to such a uh, milestone in my YouTube career. And I remember when I hit a thousand. When I hit a thousand, I was I was like, yo, a thousand is way more people that could fit into the place I was living at this time. But 25,000, that might be able to fill up the apartment complex that I'm living at now, which is super crazy. So I gotta say, I highly appreciate you guys for hitting that subscribe button, for always supporting me throughout all the phases that I've been through, such as the Funko Pop phase, the skit phase, uh, the figure phase, the manga phase, just all the anime collecting in general phases. I gotta say, I highly appreciate you guys. And lastly, if you have not already, go ahead, follow me on all my other social media platforms, all my links will be in the description down below so mm, that was a 25k clap right there oh hoo, hoo, hoo. we are halfway to bunny suit chase remember 50k by the end of this year to get me in the bunny suit remember that remember that thank you authentic for this picture right here but remember that remember that all right guys so like i said me and the boys went to kino Kania, and i spent about 150 there i didn't expect to spend 150 there and that's what my 10 percent off membership card but i spent 150 dollars at kino Kania there but i did buy a few double of some things but essentially i spent 150 dollars on manga that whole day when we went to hunt so let me go ahead and show you some of the stuff that i got from kino Kania, which i did not expect to get all of this but I'm happy that we actually win. First thing up is Fist of the North Star Volume 2. Now, I really enjoy Fist of the North Star Volume 1. And if you want to check out my thoughts and views on Volume 1, I'll leave a link in the description down below in the video that I talked about it. But I really did enjoy Volume 1. And I really enjoy these hardcovers that they're actually doing for Fist of the North Star. Because these hardcovers right here are doing the series justice. And I know that JoJo's is kind of inspired, loosely inspired by Fist of the North Star. So I gotta I gotta go to the OG itself. And I gotta I gotta pay the respects. As a Joe bro, I gotta pay the respects to Fist of the North Star. So I cannot wait to get into volume two and i see that boy ken is on the front i believe no not ken uh shin i think his name is shin shin is on the front i forgot you guys could correct me in the comment section down below but i am glad to see that they are kind of following this trend of fist of north star i like the simplicity of the volume cover but i actually like the way that it's like styled out like the red fist of north star then the character and then a the little blood splatter right there i think that that's phenomenal i think that that's super fire next few volumes that i got is actually from a series i've been collecting for a while and if you guys know i love you yu show one of my top five favorite animes of all time and obviously tagashi has another go to work which is called hunter x hunter or as i like to sometimes call it mid x mid jokingly jokingly i i acknowledge that hunter x hunter is good but i like to call it mid x mid because you know it kind of gets the fan base you know rumbling a little bit but i did pick up a few volumes of hunter x hunter because i do plan to read after the election arc where it ended in the anime so let me go ahead and show you some of the volumes i got for hunter x hunter volume 6 of hunter x hunter volume 14 of hunter x hunter volume 29 of hunter x hunter and i gotta say that this cover right here looks godly Volume 30 of Hunter x Hunter, Volume 31 of Hunter x Hunter, and Volume 32 of Hunter x Hunter with that boy Jing on the front. I don't know why a cat is right there. Maybe because they're trying to symbolize that Jing is like a, you know, a stray cat. Maybe because he just roams around, does whatever he wants. I don't know. I don't know what Tagashi got working up in his head because that man is a genius. But right here we got Jing on the front cover. And I know that this is after the actual election arc. So I'm wondering what... What part does Ging play within the story? I, I'm really curious to actually read this, but I know that the series gets pretty wordy, especially within the Dark Continent arc. So um, I'm kind of afraid for that, but I'm also kind of excited to read that because I heard the best way to consume Hunter x Hunter is probably the manga. The manga is 
most of the time the best way to actually consume a series in general. So yeah, I just counted and I bought six volumes of Hunter Hunter Wilds at Kino Kaneda. So that leaves me with two more volumes that I need to actually complete or actually be up to date with my Hunter Hunter collection. So I can't wait to get the rest of it and I can't actually wait to read after the election arc. I heard that it's super fire, especially with Karapika, I guess, being the main character at this point of the story right now. Next series I got up and I've been talking about this a good amount on the channel recently and I've talked about it in my latest reading log. I actually picked it up in one of my latest hauls. So let me go ahead and show you the series that I've been picking up and I'm actually now up to date with it in the physicals and there's one more physical coming out and then the series will be complete until the sequel series comes out later on which i don't know that much about but i can't wait to read this and actually get the last volume whenever that comes out volume 9 of world's end harem volume 10 of world's end harem and volume 11 of world's end harem <laughs> like i said in an earlier video guys some of the artwork in world's end harem it's pretty peak. <laughs> if you get what I'm saying, it's pretty peak. And let me go ahead and move to some of the magazines I got at Kino Kinea. And like I said, the magazines that I got at Kino Kinea. Cause a lot of you guys watch the videos, but you actually don't listen to what I'm saying. You see nice stuff, but you actually listen to where I say I got the nice stuff from. And trust me, I get it in the YouTube comments, I get it on my TikTok comments, and I get it on my IG comments. And if you're not following me on IG or TikTok, go ahead, fix that right now. Links will be in the description down below. But let me go ahead and show you some of the magazines I actually got from Kino Kinea. Shonen Jump Magazine 39, and Shonen Jump Magazine 40 with Luffy, Zoro, and Sanji on the front cover. And you guys know that I love me some One Piece. So I'm actually glad to have a One Piece Shonen Jump cover. And why is Luffy like opening up a pachinko ball? Like what's he, what that boy trying to get into, man? What, this man playing Duel Masters? What are he trying to do? And I kind of like the gold accents that they got on One Piece right here with the little devil fruit and Zoro just looking confused. That's probably how I'll be looking at Jerry when he be picking up some mid. You guys let me know in the comment section down below though. And for this last magazine that I got, let me go ahead and say this right now. Big silence right now for the boy, for the God, for the goat himself, Kentaro Miura. Mm-hmm. We needed that moment of silence. Cause that man is a god, a genius, a goat, a, a, an artist at its peak. You get what I'm saying? And you guys know I love Berserk. I'm not really gonna talk too much about Berserk on the channel as much because it just doesn't do well overall. But I had to get this magazine in honor of Kentaro Miura because this is the last young animal magazine where the last Berserk chapter that Kentaro Miura actually drew was featured in. And let me go ahead and show you the magazine. This right here, I gotta say, is outstanding. That boy Guts on the front cover with the Dragon Slayer. Oh my God. And then this magazine right here comes with a double-sided poster of Berserk. Oh my God. I wanted to buy two more because I wanted to show one side of the poster and I wanted to show the other side of the poster. I wanted to frame both of them. But I know that'd be a little bit of an overkill because I wouldn't know what to do with the magazines afterwards. But I had to get this in honor of Kentaro Miura because come on, you guys know I've been loving Berserk. All my Berserk videos will be linked in the description down down below with the playlist but man this right here is just fantastic i never thought i would get this i never thought that kino kania would get this in their store but they somehow got it and i'm really happy that they got it and i gotta say man Qatar muir gone too soon man gone too soon but yeah berserk if you haven't read it and you're of age go read berserk right now all right guys whoo let's get back to the fun part this is the last place that we went to we went to half price books and honestly i didn't really feel like going because usually you have price books it's a dud I'm not, I'm not gonna catch y'all, it's a dud half the time because a lot of people ain't selling their manga, but a lot of people are getting rid of some stuff that I had to add to my collection, you get what I'm saying? So that means another man's trash is really another man's treasure, you get what I'm saying? So right here, let me go ahead and show you the volumes that I got from Half Price Books, and it's only two, so don't, don't expect like a huge haul, you get what I'm saying? But yeah, it's only two volumes, let me show you. Volume 16 of Yu-Gi-Oh! Duelist and volume 17 of Yu-Gi-Oh! Duelist. Honestly, after that in-stock trades video, I had to look at Amazon to see if they had Yu-Gi-Oh! Duelist, a few volumes, and they do have a good amount, but some of the volumes that they're missing, I actually was able to get in that haul right there. So I was like, yo, that's the manga guys looking out for your boy. Yes, sir, yes, Lord. Well, manga Lord, you get what I'm saying? But yes, sir, manga Lord. Ah, but yeah, today, Today was a nice haul, you get what I'm saying? Today, I, I'm ready to get to reading. I'm actually pumped to get to reading some of this stuff. So let me know your favorite series that I hauled in this video right here. And let me know if you guys have a Kino Kinea near you or if you wish that you had a Kino Kinea near you. I wish every manga collector had a Kino Kinea near them. So guys, if you do come to Texas, there is one in Austin. There's like two of them in the Dallas area. So I highly suggest you go check out Kino Kinea. They do have a website where you can actually see where all the locations are. But yeah, let me know your favorite series that I actually copped in this manga haul down in the comment section down below. I'd like to say thank you guys for watching. If you are new to the channel and you have not already, go ahead, hit that subscribe button, post notification, 
bell, like the video, and share the content. And I gotta give a huge shout out to my Patreon pledgers for all the love and support that they've been giving me financially donating on Patreon. And I gotta give a huge shout out to the YouTube members for also financially donating and loving the boy on the YouTube side of things as well. And you know, those two groups of people deserve the biggest arts hate hug that I could give them. And if you guys didn't know, if you pledge to the Patreon or if you sub to the YouTube members thing, you do get instant access to my Discord and you get early previews or an early chance at looking at the videos that I will be posted in the next week or later on that same week. So yeah, I think that the perks for that is pretty cool, especially since the starting tier is $1. So if you haven't checked that out, go ahead, check that out. And I gotta give a huge shout out to Broke Boy Gang, aka the people that watched this video all the way through to the end. They probably liked the video while the ad was playing and they already commented Broke Boy Gang in the comment section down below. I gotta say thank you guys for watching. Dark Sage out. Peace.